Good morning, everybody. It's Teppy Schwartzel, and I am an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! Uh, and the name of my company is AridDesertDesigns.com, and I'm coming to you from uh, Chile, or Anthem, Arizona. It is 48 degrees right now, so I am wearing a sweater, a beautiful sweater that my sister gave me for Christmas, and I love it. <clears throat> um, one of the things to get into a little bit of business first is it's celebration right now. One of the things that um, just came out January the third, it was um, released to the public. We've had it for we had it for a month before that. Um, is the um, January to June twenty twenty catalog and I can now show it to you and I will when I turn the camera around. It is also celebration. When we have um, celebration and that runs from January the 3rd through March the 31st. What happens is when you buy $50 worth of product you can get a free Whatever, there's two levels. There's the $50 level and the $100 level. For every $50 that you spend, you will get a $50, there's an icon by each stamp set, okay? Some are 100, some are 50, and it's not just stamp sets, there are um, uh, stamps in here, uh, I mean, uh, uh, blah, 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 punches. Um, I don't think there are any dies. I think it's punches, stamps, and um, paper. There's some paper and also some embellishments. So for every $50, you can get one of these. This is an adorable stamp set. Um, the If you spend $100, you can either get two $50 items or a $100 item. A hundred dollar item, oh there are some dies in here, would be this die set, okay? This stamp set is 50, so if you were to spend $150, you would get not only this stamp set for free, you would, if you wanted to, then you could pick this die set. Um, terrific, terrific deal. And you can spend as much money as you want. There are... Uh, 17 pages of uh, goodies to look through and in the um, January to June mini catalog we have 75 pages of goodies so it is well worth um, checking this out now um, there's also between January um, and I think I'm not sure how long this goes on if you want to become a demonstrator, and I would love it if you would come in under me, it would be fantastic. Um, the demonstrator now, and you don't have to become a de demonstrator. You can do this for the discount. So you would either be a discount shopper or a demonstrator. I'm doing this as a business. You don't have to do this, and there's no pressure. Um, the To become a demonstrator slash discount shopper, um, the kit costs $99. Now, the kit is not pre, um, how do I say this, pre put together by Stampin' Up. It is whatever you want to order out of the January, June mini catalog or the annual catalog, which the annual catalog has... 212 pages of goodies to choose from. Now, with that $99 order, you will get, um, let's see, you get uh, blah, 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 free shipping and you will get $129 worth of product. Plus you get a free, an, another free um, stamp set you get a free paper pumpkin kit. And the other thing that will happen during this uh, celebration, and I do believe it goes to, yeah, this only, it goes to March, is you will get this gorgeous, it's 48 pages of gorgeous paper sampler of I think it's five different sweets, 
in the January June mini catalog. You will also get this adorable paper cutter. It's a guillotine type paper cutter and it is it it it's so precise. I mean, you can just slice off a sliver. Um, it is also self sharpening, so you never have to buy blades for it. And this is cute. I keep it on my desk just in case I have to do a little slice off of something. Um, it's six inch, six inches long by four inches wide. So it's you know it, it's small. It's supposed to be for small jobs, but it works perfectly. I mean, we have a wonderful paper cutter. Uh, that we do our, our big jobs on. But this is fabulous. This would be good to take on a road trip with you or something like that. So those are added bonuses. The other thing that happens if you become a demonstrator slash discount shopper is after your first order, your all your future orders, you will get a 20% discount on everything that you order through Stampin' Up! So um, the other thing is you get all kinds of rewards. You're always getting free stuff, but you get to pick it. Um, it's not something that, you know, that Stampin' Up! is going to shove down your throat. It's whatever you want it to be. And the support system is fabulous. Then the other thing is the group I'm in, they are so much fun and they are so helpful and they do a lot of the work for you. Um, you know, if, if you want to become, if you want this to become a business. Okay, let's get down to what we're going to do today. Why isn't this? Hold on just a second. Let me see if it's coming up on my on my website and I don't see it, so bear with me. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. You are live. Yes, I am live. There it is. Okay, it's live. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, this is out of the January June 20 mini catalog. And it's called um, the stamp set I'm using is called Morning Star, and one of the significant things about that is that um, during the holiday catalog we had a um, die set called S S Stitched Stars Dies, and they decided to carry that on over into the next segment. So now we have a um, stamp set that goes on another stamp set that goes along with it so I'm so excited about that now I'm going to um, turn my camera around and hopefully this works sometimes it goes sideways on me and so just give me a minute and we'll get you um, going here this is quite a process to get this done without messing it up Okay, just bear with me. Okay, so let me get you lined up here. Make sure everything is with where it should be. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so here is the celebration catalog. I'm sorry, here's the mini catalog. And here is the stamp set that we're going to be working with today. It's called Morning Star. Why is, why is there a finger in the way? Oh, okay. It's because it's slow. Okay. This is the stamp set. Um, we are going to be using the Morning Glories here today. Yes, I'm not using the stars today. Um, this is the actual card that we will be making. from this stamp set. And this is the in inside of the card. There's a little something there. Can't get... always, there's always something hanging around. So, all right. Now, before we get started on that, um, I gotta kinda clear some space here. One of the things that we have is, it's a host coat. And if you are going to order under $150, please use this host code. If you are going to you are going to order $150 or above, do not use this host code. You will get all your own rewards that Stampin' Up will will um, will give you. So again, 
under $150, please use this host code. It is also listed on my blog site, um, ariddesertdesigns.com. And um, this um, video will be posted to YouTube later. All the supplies will be listed at the bottom. There will be links that go directly to my Stampin' Up! store so you can order directly there. Um, or if you need anything or if you need a catalog, please get in touch with me. I'll send one out to you right away. Okay, so let's get started on the card. Again, here's the card. And again, I try to make I try to start out with easy cards and then they end up going in, going in another direction. So sorry. All right. So, got my cheat sheet out here. First, we we've got Highland Heather and this is going to be the base of our card. And this is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. So I've already done that. And let's, let's fold it this way. And we're going to take our bone folder and get a nice, nice crease in there. Okay. The other pieces of paper that we have here are we have two pieces of whisper white they're the same size and it's going to be f four inches by five and a quarter and then we have a piece of basic black and the basic black is four and an eighth by five and three eighths we have um, two smaller pieces these are going to be scraps and this um Smaller piece is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. They're squares. And this piece is going to be one and three quarter by one and three quarter. Now, um, this is a scrap so that we can put, uh, put our sentiment on it. It's about, <sighs> that's not right. Oh, it's about five eighths by one and three quarters, but you can make it wider if you want to. And then this is, again, just a scrap of um, Highland Heather that I put at the base down here. Just to glue it in there, just to give it a little bit more interest, that's all. Okay, now, one of the things that I did, and yes, I'm a little bit anal, yeah, just ask my husband, he'll tell you. All right, let's, I'm trying to get this out here. Okay. Now, I have, a, this is the um, um, Whisper White, which is four inches by five and a quarter. I've done several of these, um, just so that we can get through the process a little bit faster. Again, I kind of made this a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. Um, one of the things I did then is I went in to find the center and it the center is two inches in and two and five eighths down um, and, and the reason I did that it was just going to make it easier to put the uh, to place the um, if you look at this again I had the morning glories kind of going around in a circle here okay that was just so I could get my center um, a little bit get better placement on the center. Now, let's see. I am using the Morning Star, and I'm using the uh, Morning Glory, and then the leaves, and then there's a smaller set of leaves here. The other thing I'm using is for the butterfly, I'm using Positive Thoughts. I'm using the butterfly from that stamp set. And I am also using um, the Stitch Stitch. stitch Stitched shape dies. Easy for you to say, not for me. Okay, and then what I'm doing is I took the largest one and the um, uh, second or the third one in. Okay, I'll show you those in just a minute. They're in another envelope. The other thing I did is the other uh, stamps that I used is uh, from here's a card and it's I'm using the word thanks. Okay. So that will come later. The ink colors I'm using are Mossy Meadow, Highland Heather, and Melon Mambo. So 
the two major colors are going to be Highland Heather and Mossy Meadow. So first we're going to start off with the Morning, the, um, morning Glory from the uh, Morning Star. And we're going to get our black out here. So... Oh, the other thing is, I use my Simply Chamois, use this a lot. Um, one of the things I'm really good at is getting ink everywhere. So, let me just set that aside for right now. So, what I did is, I stamped the Morning Glory five times. And if you see this down here, I just lined it up with my center dot there. And I just went around in a circle until I had five morning glories. Okay, so it would end up looking like this. Okay, one of the things I find interesting is this is so much darker. You see, there's some ink there, but we can cover that up. Um, the, uh, the, the dye sinks into the paper and it really, it's a beautiful purple. I hope everybody likes purple because apparently I do. I seem to be, a, be picking purple for everything. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to be using is the mossy meadow. And we're going to, like I said, I'm trying to rush or move this along. So it's not such a long video. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this leaf stamp and we're going to use the mossy meadow. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this one aside and we're going to come in and work on where we have the five morning glories. Okay. And what I did was I tried to, I, I put the stem in the very center and then I went in between the morning glories. Uh, the other thing I need is you're going to need a piece of scrap paper because you are going to end up stamping off the page. So here we go. And look, I've got ink there. Surprise, surprise. And like I said, I just went in and kind of centered the stem and there's where you're going to go off the page. And I went around in between the five. Okay. And then it ended up looking like this. Now, one of the other things I did for, um, I used this smaller stamp this little tiny one here because it's got a really cute curly cue on it and what I did is I used that if I felt that I needed to fill anything in here like here I used it here um, and I kind of left this area blank because that's where I'm going to put the butterfly so I just worked around here's what the um, the smaller one looks like we'll just show it here and I try to connect it with this, another stem just so it's not out there floating around. Okay, so. And one of the things that I found when I went to um, do the camera shots for my card, I went in and I, I've got it in my, my uh, camera box. And I'm like, there's blood all over the card. So I had to come back in and put more greenery and then I had to put an extra rhinestone because there's a big dot of blood under that rhinestone. So you can always fix a little problem like that because I was not going to do this card over again. When I first did it, I used my Stamparatus. That was, I found out that using my block was going to be so much better um, and so much easier. So we're going we're gonna to be done with that. So we're done with all the Morning Star stamps. Um, the next stamp we're going to come in with is the butterfly from the Positive Thoughts. 
Okay, and we're going to use the Melon Mambo for that. And this one is so hard to open. It's brand new, so it hasn't been used much. Let me get this out of the way. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to put my butterfly up here in the upper right-hand corner. You can, you can put this anywhere you want. This is not a... Um, a dye in the wool that you have to put it there. Put it there. You can put it anywhere. <clears throat> there you go. So that's done. So what it's going to look like is did I did I finish one? No. Okay. Okay. So this is basically what it's going to look like. Now, the next step in the process is to get your, what are the name of them? The dies that I told you about. <clears throat> and that's the stitched shape dies. And this is how you're going to place them. Okay. Let me close this stuff up here. Get it out of your way. Bear with me. Ugh, jeez. This is one of the hardest ones I've had to try and close and open. I don't know why it's giving me such a trouble. Okay, we're done, done with the ink. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the Big Shot and we're going to cut these pieces out. Now, what it's going to look like when they're all cut out is <clears throat> this. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have got it all in the right direction. There we go. Now, what we're going to do, sorry, dying of thirst here. <clears throat> what we're going to do is, oh, now, you know what? Now nah, we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, so first what you're going to do is you're going to attach this piece to the black background. And we're going to use the multi-purpose glue for that. <clears throat> Brand new tube of multi-purpose glue. My favorite to work with. Because it, it gives you it gives you some wiggle room so that you can then oops, got too close to the edge there. Um, you can move it if it's not exactly where you want it to be. That might ooze out a little bit. Now I made these very a very narrow margin. I wanted, I just wanted it to give the the uh, white a little pop. So that looks good. <clears throat> then what you're going to do is the larger of the die cuts. And again, of course we don't have to do this until we figure it out, <clears throat> until we get it glued. Of course I can't get it out now. Okay, we're going to glue this to this black piece that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Again, same small margin. And then see, that's going to go like that. <clears throat> and then we're going to pop this last piece up on the one and three quarter by one and three quarter piece.
Okay, it looks like I forgot to stamp the butterfly on there. Hmm. I was doing this at 6 o'clock this morning, so... Ugh. Let's just get the butterfly back and we'll just do a quick stamp. I know you don't really want to watch me struggle with this, but I got to get this closed or else I know I'm going to end up with it all over the place. And red is the worst or anything with red in it. All right. So then what you do is, okay, see that doesn't line up. I don't think. No, it doesn't. So we're going to, we just keep touring it around till it looks like it's all, yeah, now that looks good. Okay. So. Now what we're gonna do is glue these down to the base. Now you can put these up on dimensionals. I just decided I wanted to glue them down. Um, it might be tougher to mail this if you were to um, prop it up. Okay, is that right? Yeah. That's not right. No, nope, I guess I had it right. There we go. No, that's not right. Why am I having such a hard time today? Of course, because you're on camera. There we go. That's the right spot. Okay, let me just double check this again. Yep, that's right. Okay, so now you're gonna glue this third piece down in the center. And again, trying to line those lines up a little bit. Make sure it's straight. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to stamp our sentiment. And um, this is a scrap of Whisper White that's one and three, quarter, one and three quarters by five and an eighth. Um, I, I wanted to stamp on it first before I cut it down to the one and three quarters um, just so I wouldn't... Um, because I can always cut it off. Or if I make a mistake, I can move move further down on the scrap. Okay. So, and with that, I used Memento Black Ink. And here's another one that's kind of tough to get off. Now that I did put up on dimensionals. Check your stamp to make sure it's completely inked. And we'll try and get this as straight as possible. Pretty good, okay. Clean that off. Cover this up. Okay. Get that back. All right. Now we're going to take our paper snips and we are going to. I cut it off like this. And then I did the banner cut from the back. And that's probably a little bit too long. And we're just gonna do a small banner here. OK. 
Okay. Pop that up on some dimensionals. These are the mini dimensionals. You can use the regular dimensionals. Whatever suits your fancy. Oops. There's an extra one there we don't need. <laughs> oh, never fails. When you're on camera, everything goes wrong. Let's get that off of there. Okay. You're gone. Your history. Of course, now you're attached to my fingers. Get the backing off. And... <clears throat> going to put that in the center. I kind of lined it up with this edge. It doesn't make any difference. There's your thank you. And I used some rhinestones. And where did the rhinestones go? <laughs> I have everything in a box here. And my rhinestones are gone. Well, bummer. How can, you know, you just sit here and you, you, I marvel at how I can lose things in plain sight. Okay, so we'll get some other, other uh, rhinestones out. I've got plenty of those. Gosh. Heaven works in mysterious ways. Take your pick, pick tool, and you can put these anywhere you want. I used, believe it or not, I used two small ones on the little ant, the butterfly antennas. You can make this as glitzy or not as glitzy as you want. And I also put a bigger, I, probably a medium size one on the thank you okay <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and a medium size one i i'm a glitzy girl down here and i'll do one down over here okay that's the outside of your card so let's get this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now for the inside, what I used, again, was the, um, the leaves, leaves and um, the swirly leaves. And I brought them in from the top with the mossy meadow. I just did a couple of them. I was gonna do them all the way across the top and then I thought, no, that's just too much. Again, I, I like to try and stamp some of the image off the page. It just looks more natural that way. Okay, that's done. Now what we're going to do is we are going to glue our purple strip at the bottom. And I usually make this strip longer than the, than the uh, width of the page <clears throat> because then it's easier for me to cut it off and it looks better. Um, if you try to get the exact measurements, it's never going to be perfect. So... Just take my glue and run it down the middle. And put it wherever you want. Just try to get it straight, which that wasn't even close to being straight. Now it is, I do believe. I usually try to hold things up and look at them that way. That seems to help me decide whether or not it's straight. <clears throat> then you just turn your card over 
and snip that edge off and it looks perfect for the card. Now, where's my base? There it is. <clears throat> I've already scored the base. I mean, um, taken the bone folder to the base and I'm going to put the in inside the guts in. pretty good and I left the inside without a sentiment because it's a thank you card then that gives you the the chance to write whatever you want and um, you've got plenty of room to do it um, I will also flatten out the card to put the, the front on isn't that beautiful I'm just I it came out so nice Okay, I must have picked up the wrong tube of glue. I did. This one's got a lot of glue in it. Okay, just re just always remember, if you make a mistake, it's always correctable. It's not the end of the world. Like I said, there's blood on that one, on the uh, the demo card. But no one will ever know except you. There we go. Perfect. There you have it. This is from the Morning Star stamp set out of the January. Um, January through June, yeah, January through June uh, mini catalog. And remember, celebration only goes from January until March 31st. Um, that's when, um, if you decide to join as a dem demonstrator slash um, discount shopper, you are going to get all kinds of perks. Um, that specialty paper, the mini mini cutter, you'll get $129 worth of product. Plus, um, you'll also get a free paper pump, pumpkin subscription. Not a subscription, but you'll get one month of the paper pumpkin, and then you decide whether or not you want to join um, for the paper pumpkin. They they have beautiful sets, and they come with everything. It's got the it's got the glue, and it's got the the stamps and and those stamps are specific for those um, paper pumpkin monthly subscriptions. Um, they are not in any of our catalogs, and um, once they're gone, they're gone. But they are beautiful, and you can use them on anything. So um, again, this is from the Morning Star out of the uh, January to June mini catalog. Um, if you do not have a um, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, please contact me. I would love to help you, and I would love to have you on my team. It's a great team. They are very helpful. Um, they are always there for you. Somebody will always answer you, usually within hours, if you've got any questions. Um, this will be posted later on YouTube, and on there will be um, all the products that I used. It will also be posted on my blog at Arizona ariddesertdesigns.com with all the direct directions and the um, dimensions for all the paper that I used. Um, the host code will also be down the right hand column of the website. Uh, so I would really love for you to join our group. Um, and again, you can either be a demonstrator or a discount shopper. After your initial order, then you will get a 20% discount on any future orders. Um, so I really appreciate your time and thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful 2020 and a wonderful decade. We're in a new decade now. Thanks so much. Bye.